Dear students, in this module, I'll be introducing you to the algorithms and techniques that can be employed to construct phylogenetic trees. To start with, you may remember that we had rooted and unrooted trees which were used to construct the phylogeny. Each one of them had their own strengths and weaknesses and we chose from them depending on our requirement. So the techniques and algorithms that are available for constructing the phylogeny are divided into two broad types. So the first one is the clustering approach. And there are several algorithms that exist within this approach. Secondly, we have the objective-based methods in which we have a specific objective and then we see and optimize that objective. So there are several techniques that exist for these class of methods as well. To start with, we will take up the UPGMA method within the clustering approaches and see how it works. So UPGMA or simply the unweighted pair group method using arithmetic averages or simply the UPGMA helps us construct phylogenetic trees with the roots as well. So to start with you consider sequences with the shortest evolutionary distance. So it essentially means you start with two sequences that are the most similar to each other. Now how do we know which sequences are similar to each other? Simply use the pairwise sequence alignment. Next, you align these two sequences and see how different they are and you arrive at C that is the inner node. So C becomes an ancestor for 1 and 2. Next, you need to understand that these sequences are the last to diverge, which means that they have evolved most recently. So this is the most recent result of evolution. Of course, some things have happened before that. As you can see in the ancestor B, so the time, so this is the new time and this is the oldest sequence. So you organize all of your sequences by using pairwise sequence alignment and then link them up through the internal nodes. Next, the method that I'll be introducing you to is the least squares distance. So we'll be looking at these methods in detail later, but this is just to introduce you to the concept. So the least square distance method essentially means that the distance between two species is equal to the difference in their sequence. So difference in sequence essentially means the insertions, deletions, mutations and substitutions that have occurred. And of course you can find them out by doing pairwise sequence alignment. Okay, so in the least square distance method, you take the branch lengths and you use them to represent the observed distance between sequences i and j. So for instance, the distance between humans and chimps is 0 0.3. The distance between human and gorilla is 0 0.4. And the distance between chimp and gorilla is 0 0.5. So this is what we observe by looking at the sequence alignment results. So can we find such nodes such that all of these distances are conserved in a phylogenetic tree? Let's see. So can we have humans 
chimps and gorilla put on a phylogenetic tree as you can see here so this is an unrooted tree so can we find x y and z such that these conditions are conserved so this is done in the least square distance method so in conclusion several methods exist for constructing the phylogenetic trees we will look at these methods in detail later but this was just to introduce you to the type of information that we employ in constructing the phylogenetic trees you must remember at this point that the foundation stone for constructing the phylogeny is the pairwise sequence alignment so if you can perform pairwise sequence alignment you can arrive at the distance between the two sequences and this distance can be used in constructing the phylogenetic trees more so the two categories the clustering and the objective methods are available and several other algorithms also exist which you can study and employ depending on your requirement